Yo, what up? Welcome back to Topic Talk, where you seek it, I speak it. Now, if you have, it's your first Topic Talk, obviously, uh, what we do is we go, I take uh, suggestions and stuff from Twitter, and then I talk about them on here. So, uh, today's topics, we got uh, Highway 633 and a bunch of other numbers saying, thoughts on Resident Evil Village and the Tall Vampire Lady. Um, I think Resident Evil Village, so far, like what I've seen of it, it looks pretty cool. I've seen a lot of good reviews. It's not really my type of game. I don't really play Resident Evils like that, uh, or horror games in general, because I just feel like I'm kind of the missing demographic. But it looks like that one had a little more action in it, so that could have been cool. But on top of that, it just looks like a solid game. So um, I definitely think that if you are into to the Resident Evil franchise, that Resident Evil 8 is a good look for you. Uh, I heard that the, the vampire lady, Lady Dimitru School, or whatever how you say her name, uh, she's not even like a super huge part of the of the game. So, I thought that was pretty interesting. My camera a little bit. There we go. I thought that was pretty interesting to, to hear about because, like, it, the way that it was sold, it seemed like she was, like, literally, like, in every cutscene. But they said she wasn't in that many parts of the game. Now, that could be true. That could be false. I don't know. I, I again, I haven't played it like that. But, um,. But yeah, just, uh, it looks like a good game, you know? And if that's something that you're into, then check out Resident Evil. Um, Faded Tim says, why the shit you've seen on uh, a show that just gets glossed right over? Cause some people definitely do that stuff uh, that is wild and it gets ignored. To be honest, man, I feel like the amount of times that the, uh, that the cameraman has to catch a sex scene like in a reality TV show, I feel like that shit kind of weird, man. How many, how many dicks and in, in, in like in boobs and pussy has a has a cameraman actually seen, bro? Like, and, and some of the angles they be getting to get these uh <laughs> to get these shots, like they be through bushes, they be uh, you know what I'm saying? They be like through curtains, they be like on the balcony, you know what I'm saying? Like looking through the room, it's it's crazy, man. So I just be thinking about stuff like that, like the people who gotta edit this footage get to see everything. Uh, and like, I feel like the people who are obviously having the sex are trying to uh, be secretive about it with the blanket and stuff. But I wonder if you just had, like, if you just had sex, like, no blanket, no nothing, would they still be allowed to, like, film you? Because, like, everything's out in the open. Obviously, they can't show that on TV. So, I mean, there's probably some meta to get those, uh, those people away from you. But maybe they'll just blur everything out and then now you just really assed out and out there. So, uh, yeah, no, nah, man, it's. That, that's probably what I think is pretty wild. <laughs> that joint is crazy. So, yeah, I guess the cameras could be uh, preemptively set up. So, yeah, the editors probably could be. <laughs> the editors got to watch all this shit and be like, oh, my God. Maybe they probably run bets on how long did that dude actually stroke. You know, was he a minute man or not? <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, we got Haps. Have to be saying, do you think Metroid Prime 4 will sell well? I heard just the other day that Hollow Knight has sold better than any one single Metroid game. Okay, listen here. If you put it, if you're talking about solely like, you know, metrics on like numbers, it is much easier for Hollow Knight, like the $20 game to sell than, uh, than Metroid 1, 2, or 3 because Hollow Knight continues to get released it got released in the age where gaming is like such a huge, uh, you know, place right now. Um, and there's like a 8,000 ways to buy it. You can only get Metroid Prime 1, 2, 3 and all these other Metroids on Nintendo systems. Uh, Hollow Knight, you can almost get on your phone. Like, in fact, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you can get it on your phone, but I think it was gonna be easy for that game to surpass uh, Metroid for the sole fact that there's so many versions of Hollow Knight and so many ways to get it. Now. Do I think the Metro Prime 4 will sell well? Yes. Do I think that it, it's gonna surpass Hollow Knight? I'm not sure. I think Metro Prime 4 will sell well because I mean, honestly, like the hype around that is, it hasn't died. People are just surprised that we've got no uh, information on it yet. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been a while and we're still sitting with literally no information on Metro Prime 4 outside of a, a splash screen. So, um, it's one of definitely Nintendo's like, it was not one of the Switch's big grabs right at the beginning, you know, it was like, it was like, we knew Smash was gonna be on there eventually, but uh, it wasn't announced yet. You had four, you had Metro Prime 4, you had Bayonetta 3, and uh, what, Mario Odyssey, and Breath of the Wild. Like those are two, those are four big Nintendo flagship games that could have sold the Switch by itself. 
Uh, plus, plus uh, Splatoon as well. Um, so yeah, it's just I, I think it's gonna sell well. I think that people definitely want a Metroid game. I'm just not sure if it's going to outsell Hollow Knight with Hollow Knight having so many chances to sell and also being a cheaper game. So, uh, I wouldn't say Prime is a Metroidvania game. It, it's just a Metroid game, like, but it's it's 3D too, so it's a little different than like, like the. <laughs> Like, original Metroids are not Metroidvanias. They're, they're, they're Metroid games. Like, the, the whole point of Metroidvania is, is saying that it's a, it's a combination of Castlevania-type gameplay and Metroid-type gameplay. Thus, you smash together Metroidvania. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Do I think Prime Form is, is still coming? Yeah, at some point. I don't know if it's going to be on this system, but I, <laughs> I believe it is going to come out. Like, I just don't know what system is coming on man i think uh you know at this point in time we might get a nintendo swap you know and then that's the you know and then that's when we get it you know, I, I don't know what the next system is going to be called but like i feel like that'd be pretty funny nintendo switch nintendo swap nintendo change you know something like that um Sagaru Mil patel aka goon says uh as someone who is commentating on the smash world tour online uh qualifiers what is one thing you enjoy about it and one thing that you either dislike or find annoying um you know it's actually a double-edged sword i enjoy and also hate uh commentating from home like i think it's cool to commentate from home because like you know it's nice to know that it's accessible uh but i also feel like it's very much easy it's very easier for me to uh get uh distracted with everything else that i have going on um in my room you know what i'm saying like I'm watching the gameplay, but I'm also on Twitter. Like, I'm watching the gameplay, but I could also be watching another uh, stream. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the feel and the atmosphere of a tournament definitely makes me commentate a lot better. One, I'm more focused, because there's only one thing to focus on. Two, the atmosphere of the tournament makes it feel more legitimate, you know? And, uh, like, that I need to be dropping, like, the hottest commentary 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, whatever year we're in. And, um... And yeah, but un unfortunately, like, I just, you know, I can't really replicate that as well at home. Like, I feel, I still feel like I give a good commentary, but I know that my commentary is better uh, at live events. So, it's, it's a double-edged sword for pretty much for just commentating at home. I think the only other thing I dislike about uh, online tournaments is, like, how, like, if someone beats a top player online, you know, it's... They, it's really delegitimized because of the fact that it's online. And yeah, that sucks. I mean, like, I think you should be happy for your win, but obviously I know how the world's going to see it or any other Smash players are going to see it. Like, oh, yeah, man, you beat them, but it's online. You couldn't do it offline, which may be true. I don't know. But it does suck that that's uh, the stigma that is given anytime anyone online beats a top player. So, uh, we got Neoret dropping uh, this rumor link that says that the next donkey kong game is going to be developed by the super mario odyssey team uh from nintendo life that was a rumor that they have and Nintendo life is usually pretty accurate um would that mean that we're gonna get like a like a dk64 type beat because i could get down with some dk64 like D dk64 like hd you know what i'm saying like if I if I can get something like that, DK with a magic tie. <laughs> Honestly, I I can get down with something like that. I mean I think DK games are like they're kind of I feel like they're kind of slept on. They're like there's like a cult following for DK games, but they were never really bad. Um, I just think that obviously like Mario was the flagship of his uh his console. Um, but yeah, but DK games are pretty sick. Uh, I, I play Tropical Freeze and I like that one a a, a decent amount. Um, and I definitely like DK64, so if we can get some type of adventure type, 3D type deal like that, I'd be down. Even if it's just Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong in there, you don't even need the rest of the Kongs, just give me Donkey and Diddy Kong, and, uh, and, uh, you know, let me play on some, like, on some DK64 or some Mario, uh, type beat, and I think I, I think that'd be a solid game. So, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that one plays out, uh, for sure. Uh, we got Black Magic Lloyd saying the new Venom trailer. Let me go ahead and see if I can find that. Now, of course, this is going to be cut out of the YouTube video, so I'll just uh, I'll just put um, I'll just put the trailer down in the uh, section below. So.
Go ahead and look at it though. Let's go ahead and look at it real quick. Hold on. Uh I mean, I'm definitely down to see that because Carnage, you know, I feel like we don't get to see a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of, like, media about Carnage, you know? So, um, I'm definitely down to see it, but at the same time, though, trailers always make shit look good. I mean, like, I said the same thing about the Mortal Kombat trailer, and that movie was mid as fuck, so, um, like, I don't know, like, I, 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 I don't, I wouldn't say that I loved the first Venom. I think that it was, like, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of surprised we're still not getting anything with Spider-Man in there uh, at all. But maybe maybe we get a cameo with Spider-Man this time around. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's kind of interesting to get, like, a Venom standalone story with, like, out any piece of uh, Spider-Man. Which is probably good for the character of Venom, you know, overall. Like, maybe he does need a standalone, standalone story. Uh, no Spider-Man involved. So, um, yeah. I, I still think that, like, the actor for for um eddie brock like i think physically this way he looks correct but somebody's face just doesn't seem like it's the he was like cast it correctly but i mean whatever like you already started with him you might as well uh you might as well finish with him you know what i'm saying yeah that, i think that's that's pretty much weird to me too is that uh he's not in the mcu but like it's still made by like you know the marvel peeps so like i don't know Carnage is like orange juice. Isn't, isn't Carnage red? Yeah, what the? Bro, that's red. In the, in the trailers, uh, I'm saying trailer cards wasn't crimson enough. Mm. I can see that. Well, we'll have to see what happens with, uh, you know, when the movie gets uh, fully released, obviously. Um, and the last thing that we have to talk about today is the gas source shortage, <laughs> which I had to do a little research on. Uh, I found out that the gas shortage was because, uh, the was that the mainline gas company was hacked like colonial pipeline went offline last week and they said it was hacked and they said the colonial pipeline system shut down friday after hackers thought to be based in the former soviet union infiltrated servers and encrypted his data demanding a, a fee to restore access so I, I mean of all the things of all the things to hack, to be honest though, like it worked because it put um, uh, Americans in into some type of peril, man. Like I went to the um, to go get food the other day, and every gas station had a line, like a long line. And I was like, damn, I'm glad I filled up gas like last Friday because like I'm sitting on like a I'm sitting on like more than I'm sitting on a little a little less than a full tank right now, so I'm good. But yeah, man, they uh. They, they definitely they definitely threw America for a loop right here. Uh, I'm looking at some of the, the numbers and where I live in North Carolina, uh, the gasoline outages as of 6 a.m. CT on May 12th, uh, and North Carolina is in the lead with 24.8% of gas uh, gas outages, right? So good shit, good shit, North Carolina. We did it again, you know what I'm saying? Let's go, boys. You know what I'm saying? First and something. Anyway, after that, you got a... Uh, Georgia with 15.4, you got VA with 15, uh, 15%, you got South Carolina with 13.4, and then everything else is in like the, the low, uh, below 5%. So it's, uh, I, I don't really know like what's the repercussions of this yet, um, but it is kind of funny seeing Americans uh, scramble for gas, you know. Uh, luckily, I don't really go anywhere anyway, so that's uh that's just you know i feel like i'm gonna I'm be good for a while uh I, we got one more this is actually pretty interesting tristan unique says you think nintendo will split the switch library like the new 3ds games that could only be played on the newer console once nintendo released the upgraded version like prime 4 only being playable on the new version 
Uh, I think that I feel like that was only uh, hardware uh, dependent because the new Nintendo Switch has a little nub, you know, for like C stick action and stuff. So there's a lot, a decent amount of games that they made for that, right? Now if they continue, if they if there's like some new controller advancement for the new Switch, then maybe. But I hope not. I hope it's just like on like a PS4 uh, and a PS4 Pro type situation where like, yeah, you can still play the game on PS4. It's just not gonna look as good, you know. Uh, so Nintendo loves uh, backward compatibility. Uh, look at the DS or the Wii. Yeah, that's true. They definitely like to keep uh, their things going. The Switch. The only reason Switch doesn't have backwards compatibility is because of the the hardware. But uh, they've still put a lot of those old games on there and like the e store and stuff. So it's you know, and a lot of remakes too. So you still got that. So yeah, I don't really think that's gonna happen. But uh, you know, if they did, yeah, I think that'd probably be. Pretty, that'd probably be pretty dumb. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. I probably. I wouldn't be with that. Uh, that idea. Now I do want a new switch, for sure. Um, one because my my current switch has a crack in the uh, in the case, and so like it it makes it hard to hold the left Joy-Con in handheld mode. But it's not like I play in handheld, handheld mode that much anyway. And two, I just want like higher graphics uh, on my screen. I want to see it, what it what it's like, and if they can make better games now with better hardware, uh, more 60 FPS games and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. That was another Topic Talk. If you liked what you saw, make sure you leave a like and comment below. If you have anything that you want to comment on based off what I talked about, leave a like and, or leave a comment below. And uh, I'll drop the Venom trailer in the in the description so you can watch it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next Topic Talk. If you ever want to put your topics in on Topic Talk, when you see the tweet, reply to the tweet. Until next time, peace!